Hello everyone, welcome back in our series from Le Garda. This time we are hunting charming towns on the east side of the biggest Italian lake. In case you are new here, we are Natalia and Michael, your local explorers. And we heard a thing about this town we are located just right now, that it's a pearl of the Lake Garda. So we came here to find out if it's true. The first thing we did as we came here was jump straight into the pool of our hotel and then we headed to the city to stroll its streets and discover the unique vibe. And a spoiler, it's really beautiful and I can't wait to show you more. But right now we are walking back to the hotel. We are gonna give you a quick room tour and show you where we are located and hopefully tomorrow we are gonna wake up and head straight to this castle behind us. Exactly, and let me just tell you, the evening walk through Malchacina was so peaceful. Even though it's high season, we managed to find a freeze place at the restaurant by the waterfront and enjoy the dinner. And as the place we're staying at is just 10 minutes walk from the city center, it makes it a nice evening stretch to walk a bit uphill there. So welcome in our room, let's make a quick room tour, so just by the entrance we have a small bathroom with a shower, a sink, toilet and of course a bidet because we are in Italy so just can't miss this one and I love this sliding doors, it's very practical and then we have this living place where in the middle we have a bed it's really comfy, then we have like a small chair with a table and some things like coffee and tea in the morning and then the storage space. It's quite good, I really love it. Oh, and what I forgot to mention about the bathroom is the first window glass, which basically like provides you the sunlight into the bathroom and I find it pretty cool. That's probably it. It's very practical room, I would say. And as usual, my favorite part is the view, but right now we don't see anything because it's dark. I mean, we can have a look actually, but it will be a little surprise in the morning. <laughs> Oops. By the way, this is electric. Thumbs up. But I think right now we can see just oh my goodness oh. we can go up oh the whole darkness that's the lake and over here we can see like the top of the castle tower but this part will be surprise in the morning so good night and see you tomorrow We just checked out from our hotel where we had a lovely breakfast. What I really loved was the option that we could uh, choose to sit outside, to enjoy the light breeze and the stunning view of the lake. Yeah, that was beautiful. And right now we came to the castle, which we saw yesterday, to check out a little bit of the history of the town of Malchusine. And we are walking a little bit uphill and right now we are just standing under it. And it's actually a bit bigger than I thought. Okay, so we should keep the tickets also for the exit, mm -hmm. as I read. Looks like nobody is around, so... Okay. So what a cool so entrance! Close. Welcome to the castle of Malchusine! Oh. <laughs> So today there are only ruins of the castle, as you can see, but they made it so beautiful, like the, all the plants and flowers and art installations and everything. You really feel such a beautiful vibe. I really love it. Like, look at the lake. Wow. On one of these boats you can get a tour around Lake Garda or move around in between the cities. 
and have a look on this beautiful castle which is located just by the water. This Byzantine fresco is like from 14th century. How impressive. I definitely agree that Malchusine is the pearl of Lake Garda. I mean, there are still a lot of places we haven't been around the lake, but this is such a dream. Like, this feels like from a movie. Look, you have the lake, you have the mountains, and you have like the historic town. Just so beautiful. I could spend here probably the whole day just looking around, wow. Inside the castle, there's a little museum that is uh, dedicated to its history and origins. It describes how it was built over the centuries. And also there is an exhibition which explains the boat tourism or traveling by boat at Lake Garda. There were all kinds of ships explained. And right now we're heading to the tower of the castle. Before we leave Melchicine, we wanted to check out this small local shop with olive oil products because it's actually very popular and unique and it also won some prizes for the best olive oil product shop. I think we are getting some stuff. Hmm. Looks like I need a basket. Success. Yes, it's like a paradise for spices and olive oils. Definitely. Actually, there's a cable car which goes to Monte Baldo and takes you around 1800 meters up, but it's getting quite crowded and we decided not to take the tour right now. But the cable car is quite interesting as the whole structure rotates while you're going up. But from the other side of the hill, there's the famous church Madonna de la Corona, which we already visited a few weeks ago, so you can check it out. Driving the east shore of Lake Garda, we are crossing through lovely villages and we are heading to our second stop for the day. It's Sunday and it's summer season, which means there are a lot of people everywhere and I don't know, we'll see if we are even able to park our car somewhere, so let's see. But the views along the way are really pretty and hopefully we'll be able to discover another town over here. So our second tip on a spot we're stopping by on the east side of Lake Garda is this charming Branzone Sulgarda, which tiny streets we are currently discovering. We had just a very short walk through the promenade of Branzone Sulgarda. I mean, I think we've seen everything important, but it's 
quite beautiful as well here and we're just having cappuccino under the olive trees which are everywhere around As we found out, the more south you go on the east side of Lake Garda, the less beaches and places to swim you actually find. But that doesn't mean that you have less fun because I've seen around many schools for kite surfing or windsurfing or if you feel comfortable you can even rent a boat with a 40 horsepower motor without license and just ride around the coast. Yeah, that's pretty cool actually. And there is still one part undiscovered by us around Lake Garda and that's the west side that we decided to kind of like let it for off season. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe our channel so you won't miss any unique spots. Yeah, see you next Sunday. Bye, Bye. guys. Grazie. May I just ask if you say Malcesina or Malcesina? Malcesina. Okay. Malcesina. Sina. Sina. Okay. Okay. Ciao.